Ever wished you owned Harry Potter's invisibility cloak? Well, someone in the animal kingdom beat us to it. Meet the masters of disguise and escape artists of the underwater world, the cephalopods. This group of marine animals, which includes octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish, have a unique and mind-boggling ability. They can change the color and even the texture of their skin to perfectly match their surroundings, effectively becoming invisible. Imagine you're a hungry predator swimming around looking for a quick seafood snack. You come across a coral reef full of nooks and crannies where tasty morsels might be hiding. You scan the area, but all you see are rocks and corals. Little do you know there's an octopus sitting right in front of you, laughing behind its eight arms. This uncanny ability is due to special cells in their skin called chromatophores. Each chromatophore is like a tiny balloon filled with pigment. By flexing their muscles, cephalopods can make these cells expand or contract, changing the color of their skin in the blink of an eye. But wait, there's more. Some cephalopods can also change the texture of their skin to mimic the bumps and grooves of rocks or the soft flowing surface of seaweed. It's like having your own personal wardrobe of textures, patterns, and colors, all at the tips of your tentacles. Now, let's bring this back to the human world. Picture yourself at the cookie jar late at night, hand caught in the proverbial cookie jar. Suddenly, you hear footsteps, panic sets in. But wait, you're a human-octopus hybrid. You change your skin color to match the cookie jar, your texture to mimic the kitchen counter. The footsteps get closer but all they see is an unusually large cookie jar. Crisis averted. So next time you're feeling envious of Harry Potter's invisibility cloak, remember the cephalopods, the true masters of underwater camouflage? They've been doing it for millions of years and they don't even need a magic wand. Imagine the possibilities. If humans could do that, no more embarrassing moments when you're caught red-handed stealing cookies. You think Usain Bolt is fast? Wait till you meet the sailfish. Now here's a creature that truly puts the flash in Flash of the Seas. This remarkable fish, known as the sailfish, holds the title for being the fastest swimmer in the ocean. Picture this, it can swim at an astonishing speed of up to 68 miles per hour. Yes, you heard that right, 68. That's like going from zero to I'm late for work in a split second. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine if you could swim that fast. You'd probably be the first one to the front of the queue when your favorite store announces a sale. Or perhaps you'd be the first one out of the pool when someone yells, shark. Not that you'd have to worry about sharks if you were a sailfish, they'd be eating your bubbles, but let's get back on track. The sailfish's speed is not just for show, it's a survival skill. It uses its speed to hunt, and when it finds its prey, it uses its long pointed bill to slash through schools of smaller fish, stunning them. Then it simply turns around and eats at its leisure. Talk about fast food, right? Now you might be wondering, how does a sailfish achieve such extraordinary speed? Well, it's all thanks to its streamlined, torpedo-shaped body and crescent-shaped tail, which allows it to cut through the water like a hot knife through butter. It's like nature's version of a speedboat. But the sailfish isn't all about speed. It also has a large dorsal fin or sail which it can raise and lower. When the sail is raised, it creates a larger, more intimidating profile to scare off predators. When it's lowered, it reduces drag, allowing the sailfish to reach those incredible speeds. So the next time you're late for work, just remember, if only you were a sailfish. Tired of anti-aging creams and potions? Maybe it's time to take lessons from the immortal jellyfish. Let's dive into the fascinating world of Turritopsis dorni. This is no ordinary jellyfish, it's got a trick up its tentacle that would make even the most seasoned magician green with envy. You see, this jellyfish has a rather unique take on life. It simply refuses to age. Picture this, a beautiful glowing jellyfish floating freely in the ocean. It's reached the end of its life, but instead of passing on like other creatures, it does something absolutely mind-boggling. It reverts its cells back to their earliest form and begins life anew. It's almost as if it's hit the reset button on its life cycle, like a video game character with unlimited lives. This extraordinary process is called transdifferentiation, and it's a pretty big deal in the science world. The jellyfish transforms all of its existing cells into a younger state, 
essentially turning back the clock on its own life. It's like if we could turn every wrinkle into a baby's smooth skin, every white hair back to its original color. Now imagine if humans could do that. We'd have no need for anti-aging creams, Botox, or expensive spa treatments. Retirement would be a thing of the past. We could just hit the reset button every time we got tired of adulting. And birthdays? Well, they'd be a whole lot less stressful, that's for sure. It's a funny thought, isn't it? Our obsession with immortality, our constant quest to stay young, and here's this tiny jellyfish floating around in the ocean, quietly living its endless life. It's a humbling reminder of the wonders of nature and the secrets it holds. But don't pack your bags just yet. While the immortal jellyfish's anti-aging secret is incredibly cool, it's not quite ready for human application. So for now, we'll just have to stick to our anti-wrinkle creams and healthy diets. Who needs a fountain of youth when you can just be a jellyfish? Forget about gym rats. We've got the real heavy lifters right here in the insect world. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about strong animals? Elephants? Rhinos? Sure, they're big and bulky. But when it comes to strength, relative to size, the real champions are much, much smaller. Take the humble ant, for instance. These tiny titans can carry up to 50 times their own body weight. Imagine being able to lift a car over your head and then casually saunter off with it. That's the equivalent of what these incredible insects achieve on a daily basis. And let's not forget about the mighty dung beetle. Now their choice of workout equipment might be a bit unconventional, but these little guys are no joke. They can pull more than 1,000 times their own body weight. That's like you dragging six double-decker buses behind you. Now, you might be thinking, sure, but they're insects. They don't have to bench press or deal with leg day. Well, you're not entirely wrong, but consider this. These insects aren't just lifting these weights. They're also carrying them across vast distances, all while navigating treacherous terrain. So while you're struggling to open that stubborn jar of pickles, remember an ant could have done it without breaking a sweat. And while you're panning after hauling your groceries up a flight of stairs, consider the dung beetle, who does the same thing, but with a ball of poop that's the equivalent of six buses. But it's not just about the numbers. It's about the sheer will and determination that these creatures display. They don't have fancy gyms or protein shakes. They have survival. And in the game of survival, they are the ultimate weightlifters. So the next time you struggle to lift your grocery bags, remember, an ant could have done it without breaking a sweat. So there you have it, folks. The animal kingdom is truly a marvel of superpowers. Picture this, you're walking down the street and suddenly you become invisible, just like the cuttlefish. No more awkward small talk or running into people you'd rather avoid. The world is your oyster, or rather, your cuttlefish. Or what if you could swim faster than a speeding bullet, just like the sailfish? Imagine the money you could save on plane tickets. You could travel the world without leaving the water the seven seas would be your highway and you'd be the fastest thing on it. And who wouldn't want to be immortal like the Turritopsis Dorney jellyfish? Sure, you'd have to deal with the minor inconvenience of transforming back into a juvenile form every now and then. But think of all the history you could witness. You'd be there to watch civilizations rise and fall and you'd always have the best stories at parties. But let's not forget the dung beetle, the world's strongest weightlifter. If you had that kind of strength, moving day would be a breeze. You'd be the ultimate one-man moving company, able to lift over a thousand times your own body weight. Now, wouldn't that be something? Of course, as much as we'd love to trade places with these animals, we're stuck being ordinary humans. But hey, we've got our own superpower. The ability to learn, to grow, and to laugh at the absurdity of it all. So, if you could have any animal superpower, which one would you choose? Would you be a master of disguise, a speed demon, an immortal entity, or a super strong weightlifter? Let's keep the conversation going. Hit that like button if you enjoyed our journey through the animal kingdom. Subscribe to stay updated on our latest adventures and leave a comment to let us know which superpower you'd want. And before we go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Who knows, your dream superpower might just be the topic of our next video.